guys, welcome to another Storytime Sunday. Okay, so this is probably my most embarrassing story ever. Like, it's like probably the weirdest I've ever acted when a guy is involved. So I went out, obviously drank way too much, woke up the next morning and was like, mm, I don't really remember anything, like, no. So there I am, minding my own business. You know the phrase, ignorance is bliss. I was blissfully unaware of my antics of the night previously. Blissfully unaware, okay? And then all of a sudden I get this message on Facebook. What is this? And then all of a sudden I get the worst flashback of my entire life. I was like, oh my God. I did something really, really not okay and weird last night. Then I scroll back to the night previously. Message from Amy at half three in the morning to this guy. Okay, so yeah, my dad was pretty devastated that I was not a boy and that I didn't end up the end of the year rugby player or whatever the fuck it was. So yeah, I just feel weird about the whole thing. I don't know. <laughs> like, literally, what? His response, what is this, was like so perfect. Like, what, what is this? Literally, what is this message? What are you trying to say? What is this? Basically, as we good friends this guy, like back in the day, had not spoken to him in over two years. It had been like two and a half, three years since I had even said words to this guy. And now I'm sending him weird messages. Pretty sure my dad is very happy with the fact that I'm a girl. I don't think he cares that I'm not a boy. Like, anyway, so I reply. <laughs> then he replies. So at this point, this is where I kind of wanted to like curl into a hole and just like die. Someone called Amy was banging on my window last night at 3.30. Was that you? Banging on his window. I was banging on his window. So then he says this and like, this like flashback just comes to me and I'm like, oh my God. It was even worse than I thought. It was even worse than I even imagined. So the flashback that I got was that me standing at this guy's house at the front door and there's a woman at the door. That's the only bit I remember. It was obviously his mum being like, who the fuck are you? Fucking go home, you drunk bitch. Like what? Someone called Amy was banging on my window last night. Was that you? Mm, um, no. So I go, hmm, interesting. Yeah, I suppose it was. So yeah, apologies about that. Odd situation altogether. Because I was like, what? What else can I say? I've absolutely, like, yeah, probably was me. And I've absolutely no idea what I was doing. And then he said, you woke up my whole house. Do you want to explain what you were doing? <laughs> so I just recap. I went out for a good night, uh, got way too drunk, got a taxi to this boy's house, who I haven't spoken to in three years, was banging on his window, um, woke up his entire house, and then his mum comes to the door and obviously told me to fuck off. Great. Oh, sorry, sorry, it doesn't end there. And then I go home and I'm like, uh, oh, I sent a message on Facebook and, you know, hey, how are you? That's way too boring and generic. I'll send a really weird, obscure message about being a rugby player and a boy. Yeah, that, that ought to do the trick, definitely. I think that'll get his attention. Like, clearly, I was just trying to rekindle the friendship and uh, the feeling was not reciprocated. So he just replied, eh, uh, all right. Just the eh, uh, which is really like, eh, uh, you're a fucking weirdo. Like, I obviously was so drunk in the taxi home and somehow he came into my brain and I was like, do you know what? We were good friends back in the day and we should be friends again. Taxi man, yeah, off we go to his house and I'm gonna rekindle the friendship. That was obviously my plan. Yeah, that was obviously my plan. Well, safe to say it didn't work at all. Uh, yeah, no, mission not accomplished. So yeah, I think that's my most embarrassing thing that I have ever done. 
I think ever. I think that's the most embarrassing thing that I've ever done. Okay, so that is the end of the story. Um, I hope maybe you learned a few things from it. Don't call to a guy's house at 3am banging on his window if you haven't spoken to him in a couple of years. Actually, don't, just don't do that full stop. Even if you have spoken to him recently, just, that's not cool. Don't do it. If you're going to drug message a boy, just be like, hey, how are you? Don't do what I did and make up a fucking creepy story about your dad wanting you to be a boy. Not cool either. That's, that's not going to go down well. So yeah, just don't do those things and you should be fine. <laughs> If you did enjoy the story or made you laugh, please let me know to make me feel better about myself. Okay, so I'm going to do another story next Sunday, so I will see you then. Bye-bye.